How can we be the very best when there are so many Pokemon missing? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 notable Pokemon missing from Sword and Shield. For this list, we're taking a look at our favorite Pokemon that are surprisingly absent from the latest game in the franchise. Really, it doesn't make much sense. Number 10, Classic Legendaries. Translation? What's it saying? It's saying Moltres used to rule here. With so many Pokemon in the universe, one would think Game Freak would start recycling a few legendaries, especially since this is the first Pokemon game in ages to be on a home console. Unfortunately, it appears that Pokemon Sword and Shield will not be including any legendaries from previous games. There's no Zapdos, no Darkrai, no Celebi, no nothing. Which is a shame, because they could have been secret characters the way Shaman or the Lake Guardians were. <laughs> it's totally ridiculous. On the plus side, maybe Sword and Shield is housing a few hidden legendaries of their own. Or maybe Game Freak can implement them into limited time events in a similar vein to Pokemon Go. Oh, but Mew made it in because... Why not? <laughs> Number 9. Slowpoke. Slowpoke, the dopey Pokemon. No one can tell what a Slowpoke is thinking, if it ever does think. Whether Game Freak and Nintendo like it or not, some Pokemon have become a part of the meme culture, the most recent one being the Alolan form of Executor. However, of all the Pokemon to have become a meme, we're feeling really somber about Slowpoke's absence. <sighs> His dumb face and slow demeanor will either creep you out or make you laugh uncontrollably. Honestly, Slowpoke isn't our top pick for most battles, until he evolves into Slowbro that is, but it is disappointing that such an internet famous Pokemon isn't famous enough to make it into the newest game. Zai. Slow. Zai. Oh. Now what? I think they're just saying hello. Number 8. Absol. It's an Absol! I've heard of them. Okay, so the title of these games are Pokemon Sword and Shield, correct? With titles like these, you'd think Sword would include a bunch of characters that have bladed limbs or abilities. While the new game will include Pokemon like Aegislash, we notice the disaster Pokemon, Absol, is missing. Absol, use Razor Wing! What in the flying false swipe? Absol is all about destruction and cutting things up. You know, like a sword, it can learn moves like Shadow Claw, Hidden Power, Aerial Ace, and, oh, Sword Dance. <sighs> okay, maybe we're stretching it out a bit with Absol, but really, Absol should have been a shoe in <laughs> Number 7, Psyduck. Depending on who you ask, Psyduck is either famously infamous or infamously famous for his mannerisms and psychic abilities. Really, the duck may look like a fool, but it can become a real threat as we've learned from our own encounters with it in previous titles. <laughs> so we ask you, why isn't our constantly stressed bird in Sword and Shield? Sure, it can be really frustrating to deal with on the battlefield, but there's a part of us that wants to see Psyduck wobbling around in the grass or splashing by a pond. You can't deny how cute that'd be. Number 6, Cast Form. I think it wants us to follow it. Mika! This is such a missed opportunity. Cast Form hasn't been one of the most actively present Pokemon per se, but what makes it so special is its ability to change the weather on command. That's its sunny form! Cast Form changes its appearance and type depending on the weather! Given that Sword and Shield is implementing changes in weather, we can't help but question why Cast Form is not in the game. Not only would it be able to turn the tides of combat and adjust stats of certain moves, it could also make for an interesting mechanic for finding hidden items like TMs and HMs or special Pokeballs. Just how exactly was this overlooked? <laughs> Number 5, Zorua. <laughs> This mischievous and adorable fox-like pocket monster has become one of the most iconic Pokemon in recent generations, particularly for its stylish design and its abilities in creating illusions. With the power to disguise itself as a human or another Pokemon, hunting down a Zorua would be pretty tricky and make encounters more surprising. And yet, Zorua didn't make the cut. We aren't as mad about this as we are disappointed. Ah! 
including Zorua would have added an interesting surprise to observing Pokemon. How cool would it have been to ambush a Meowth or a Pikachu, only for it to reveal itself as a Zorua? This was just as squandered as Cast Form's exclusion. Good. <laughs> Number 4. Shieldon. Shieldon, the shield Pokemon. Much like Absol, our frustration with Shieldon's exclusion comes primarily from the obvious parallels. After all, this is the shield Pokemon named Shieldon, whose face is shaped like a shield and is somehow not included in Pokemon Shield. Like, come on, this Pokemon was doing the whole living shield shtick before Zamazenta came strolling in. It even boasts the same traits you would expect from a living shield. Its face is hardened and big to protect its fragile body, like a shield for a swordless knight. So why exactly was the shield Pokemon left out of Pokemon Shield? Again, you got the living sword in the game. Why not the shield? Electivire, take care of the shield on. Electivire. Number three, Meltan. Meltan's debut was a pretty big deal back in September 2018. How could it not be when the only way to obtain it was by capturing and transferring it from Pokemon Go? What's odd about Meltan is that it is now the first and only Pokemon to not be assigned to a generation. Fans were expecting the little guy to make an appearance in Sword and Shield, but alas, this is not the case. Guys, we can't just abandon Meltan in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Here's hoping it makes it into the game post-launch. Number two, Jigglypuff. Is something wrong? Okay, now this, this is outrageous. Jigglypuff has been a mandatory inclusion in every single Pokemon game to date. You just can't put that cute face into every game and then drop it from the newest entry. Yes, trainers, it is true. Jigglypuff is not in Sword and Shield, and as irritating as its singing is, we miss the adorable pocket monster. It's using Sing Attack. That's not fair. It's absolutely confusing too, given how Jigglypuff has been a star in Super Smash Bros. since the series started in 1999. Just that fact alone should imply how many fans the balloon Pokemon has. <laughs> Before we explode our frustration over the most glaring absence, here are a few honorable mentions. I choose Skarmory. Pokemon because Skarmory nests in briars and is constantly scratched by thorns. Knock it off, you two! Isn't that a rule against splashing in the pool? <laughs> Legend has it that long ago a fierce dragon Pokemon terrorized the residents of this area. Time to meet our Pokemon partners! Pizza! Answer! Here's the Pokemon I'll be using! Make a splash! Ah! It's my turn! Here we go! My partner! Pizza! For your Pikachu, this should be more than a match. Cubo! Go! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Squirtle and Bulbasaur what in the absolute distortion world is going on here? You're gonna tell me that Charmander was the only OG starter Pokemon deemed worthy enough to make it into Sword and Shield? Only Charmander? Okay, what about Squirtle and Bulbasaur? These two would make awesome Gigamax evolutions. Blastoise could turn into a massive tank. Venusaur could borrow a few traits from Godzilla. What makes this even more maddening is the fact that Charmander is the only starter Pokemon across the entire franchise to have made it. No Torchic, no Froakie, not even Rollit. 
Why should every other starter take the back seat except for Charmander? Why? Later! I've had enough of your prank, Squirtle! In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.